guys it's coming from nokiaviews.com so microsoft is right now rolling out uh, windows 10 mobile previewable one for 291 to the to the users and this is part of the new redstone branch uh, which is you know set to unify the uh, one core and bring the new features to windows 10 so um what's new in this uh, build uh compared to the previous redstone build nothing much has changed uh but uh, when, when you go into the settings and then into the update and security options, you do see a new Windows Insider program option. Currently, when, when you tap on it, it does nothing. It takes you back to the home screen, but it clearly shows that Microsoft is working to, you know, bake in the Windows Insider program option inside the operating system. Uh, so uh, in the future, you may not need this Windows Insider app. Um, what else has changed? Um, well, um, if you got a, if you got bad eyesight, uh, we've got good news for you because uh, when you go to ease of access and you increase the size of the text, you'll see that all the applications now um, show magnified types. For example, for at the bottom, you see. We get text now and same goes for the you know various options various settings so all the application list has been updated to follow the make text larger thing you know which is uh, available in the ease of access um, the keyboard typing speed has uh, changed you know a lot of users were earlier complaining that the keyboard sometimes feels like you know it's lagging a little bit that has been fixed in this build so pretty nice stuff um, again this build is only available to the uh, the Lumia's having one gig of RAM and except for the Lumia 920 and 925 because Microsoft thinks for some reason they, those are old devices and they do not pack enough for horsepower to you know run the Windows 10 uh, probably I strongly disagree um, it is able to run uh, Windows 10 perfectly fine and guess what I'm running this on a Lumia 630 having 512 MB RAM and this is running just fine on it um, so yeah there you go um, yeah one more thing I think has changed that's that's the map application I think that has been updated in this build it looks really really good so let me search, let's say if I go to, I'm searching a place and it's the user interface has improved a lot and it just feels more zippier and reliable. Is it better than the hair maps? Well now, yes it is now, I mean really when it was in its infancy stage it was terrible but Microsoft has quickly responded to the uh, users feedback and they have you know really polished this application so yes you can really use this uh, app on a day-to-day -day basis now